Oh, who say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the heart? And to get us underway, that was Skylar Cole singing the Star Spangled Banner. Yeah, 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 huh, fella like it's me against the world, but I can give a f who my opponent is. And I came here to train it Big my belief, now they calling it dangerous Taking the throne and I'm gonna maintain it I gotta go down to just one of the places Takes flying bullet down No man, that deck, deck cleared Thanks everyone for joining 2K Sports For this Wednesday evening presentation of the NBA this is Brian Anderson with Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke. Allie LaForce, our reporter. Allie, it's all yours. Thank you, Brian. The Cavaliers are a team that's getting attention for all the right reasons. Commissioner Adam Silver said, quote, to see a young team that's so excited to play together, a great style of basketball, and enormous talent. They're constructed the right way. BA, lofty praise from the commissioner. Yeah, fans in high places for sure, Allie. Thanks. And we got a chance to check out multiple seasons of assist numbers. And what has been the trend for James Harden? And that decline in assist numbers over the last few years is what has made him more of a one-note player on offense. If he could integrate more passing back into his game, he'd be giving opposing defenses a much harder time. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. Thibel and Harris at the three and the four. Tyrese Maxey is out there with James Harden. And it's Bassey in at the center position. And for the Cavaliers, the lengthy pair of Mulder and Allen are together inside. Darius Garland is out there with Donovan Mitchell. And it's Osman in at the three slot. And Doris, some of the best stories every year involve veteran stars who were, essentially, put out to pasture by the pundits. And they're dominating. Yeah, we're in a world, B.A., that moves very quickly and that seems to be obsessed with the next new thing. Take a guy like Al Horford, who for a stretch of his career, many years ago, he passed his prime, and then yet you see him in a new situation display the skills that have made him so successful for so long. Here's Bassey. Bassey with it, picked up by Allen. From eight feet away, up again, controls the rebound and the putback. Oh, phenomenal hustle. He has a knack for those boards. Man, he is tenacious when that ball goes up. Pass to Mitchell. Allen with a screen on Maxi. Mitchell, the pass to Allen. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Do you not love that by any means necessary attitude from Jared Allen, able to finish through the contact? One shot. Free throw good from Allen. When you look at the age of Jared Allen, the way he's developed, he could be a top five center in the league very soon. Fantastic impact on the court he has. Now here's Thibel. Back to Harden. Five on the clock. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Allen has the defensive finishing that you want from the center spot. Man. Yeah, B.A., Allen can switch on the guards with ease. Great lateral movement and contest very well. Having a center that can do that is huge for a team. from 
Harden. And you know, guys, I don't think too many people expected the resurgence we saw from the Cavs last season. It started with their defense. hits them both. Well, in terms of their D, the Cavs have gone from one of the softer teams in the league to one of the toughest. Well, think about this. I mean, they're a young team. They play with tremendous energy, and we see that in the way they get after it on defense. Tarlin for three. Cleveland gets it back. Pass to Osman. Now on a screen. Second chance effort. Osman, no good. Listen, he can make that shot right there, but I do know they have other options they can go to. Out to Harris. Baxi against Mitchell. Here's Bassey. Harris down low, covered by Mobley. Harris misses. Boy, in that close, he's almost automatic. Boy, that's pretty good defense. Wow. The Cavaliers again cannot hit for Philadelphia. They've gone one for three so far. To the inside. And it's all tied up. Oh, just an easy reverse for him. He has nice feel and touch around the bucket. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Garland, the pass to Mitchell. The call will be against James Harden. That's his first foul of the game. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Outside Garland. Just four to shoot. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. I like the toughness required on that finish by Darius Garland. Boy, oh boy, that was nice. The willingness to mix it up on the interior is so important. Three-pointer, Harden. That one, no good. So Cleveland will take it the other way. Pass to Garland. Over Harden. And the shot is good by Garland. Garland's got his third bucket of the night. He's three or four now, looking real confident out the gate. Here's Harden, and he's in the books. Now one for two. This speaks to the strength that James Harden possesses. He is so good at finishing through contact. Garland finds Allen. Pass to Osman. Hook loose. Now Harris. Oh, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. They put up a nice win against Toronto last time out. And we all know that on the road, you don't usually look so comfortable on the offensive end. But that was the story of the game. It came down to execution. No wasted possessions, and that is absolutely essential trying to win on the road. Now here's Mitchell. Against Toronto, he was really on his game. Boy, a middle like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. Maxi passes to Harden. From the high post, he drills it. Harden's got six points. We know this about James Harden. If you want to force him to that in-between game, he is more than happy and content to take mid-range jumpers. Here's Garland. And he also played a big role in their last game with Toronto. The shot that time, not on target. Some solid defense from Maxi. Harden, the pass to Thibel. Back to Harden. Jacks up a three. The rebound by Allen. For Cleveland, they've gone four of nine in this one so far. To win the Jones. And the shot's good. Jared Allen could 
continues to do the dirty work down low. This guy is so fundamentally sound. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Cleveland. They've done a great job facilitating shooters. Their early game has seen a lot of hot passes, but has kept the defense guessing as well. Yeah, and their assertiveness in the paint so far tonight has been impactful. They're really making it hard for the interior defense. What you love about Donovan Mitchell is he is an attacking, scoring point guard. It often took the drive as a great threat at the rim because of that elite athleticism. Every chance he gets, he's looking to attack. And now the Cavaliers on the break. The teardrop. Garland with the bucket, getting it done inside. He's got nine. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. Mobley against Harris. And he drives in. Mitchell's scoring abilities have all been a difference maker for us. The BA, that's been especially true in the playoffs. Highly competitive, all about the right thing. Well, whenever you bring up the 76ers, you instantly think of Joel Embiid. Oh, no question. He's the face of this franchise. Embiid is as good as anyone in the league. Off the floor, Joel is willing to take the blame when things don't go right. That's who you want as a leader. The first one falls. And after a few seasons of anemic offense, the Cavs have finally started to turn things around. Yes, they have. And they made a big step forward. Now, there's a nice balance to their offense. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Levert's checked in. And Harris drops them both. Productive trip to the line. He doesn't like to leave points on the table. Mitchell against Maxi. Right side, Mitchell. Fires the three. Gets the three ball to go. Well, this is why you get the ball into Donovan Mitchell's hands as often as possible. Three-level score, ready on the catch. Beautiful. Now here's Tucker. Outside, Maxi. Pass to Harden. To the middle. Up top, Maxi. Now Harden. Late clock. The Sixers need to pull one up here. Harris misses. The Cavaliers have gotten seven of their first 12 shots to go. Levert passes to Garland. There's a screen. From downtown, it's another three for Cleveland. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Outside Harden. Pass to Maxi. The three is up. It doesn't go for him. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. Here's Mitchell. Here he goes. Yes. And a nice assist from Garland. And now it's an 11-point Cleveland lead. Philadelphia calls timeout. Cleveland. Kevin Love's checked in for Allen. Stevens comes in for Mitchell. And Rubio is subbed in for Garland.
Philadelphia has gone 0 for 4 from deep to start this one. Melton passes to Tucker. And there's the screen. Harris with it. To stop the run. Rubio with the rebound. Right now trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. Back to Love. Oh, it's stolen by Tucker. Pass to Melton. Outside Milton. Shot clock at five. And the first shot of the night for missing. Cleveland has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. Now Mobley. To the right side. Harris up top. He's coming off a 19-point game against Atlanta. Here's Milton. Cavaliers with a rebound. LeVert outside. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Now one on Tucker. And what you love is every year, Harris LeVert takes another step. He adds something else to his game. And I believe, guys, this guy has future star written all over him. Shoot the key. The first free throw is good. When you think about Harris Liver, to me, he's a proven scorer in this league already. Absolutely has a knack for getting to the cup and can create room for himself in the mid-range. Both free throws good for Levert. And when you look at Levert, he's been hindered by injuries throughout his career, Doris. There's no doubt. In his first six seasons, he only had one pass in which he played more than 58 games. The guy has had multiple injuries. He just hasn't been able to catch a break. And Philadelphia calls time here. games. He's had trouble finding his offensive rhythm and just hasn't been as effective as he'd like to be on that end. But this is something all players go through and I'm sure he'll fight his way back. Here's Milton. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Outside Tucker. Tries to snap the cold streak. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Here's Love. He drains it from the right block. And the Cavaliers lead by 15. They're not wasting any time putting their stamp on this game. What a start. 
they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. And so it looks like it'll be Philadelphia ball. Okay, let's bring up the list of the top foul shooters among post players this season. Third is Kevin Love. And you really have to love the confidence of this group at the free throw line. We haven't seen them struggle from there the way many bigs do. <laughs> Not at all. They've got the kind of ability at the line that would be exceptional at any position. You can't defend them as physically as you would some other big men because of just how reliable they are. Pass to LeBert. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Well, the 76 are shooting just about 29% so far. Not great. Milton against Rubio. A nice shot by Milton. Milton's got five now. Well, everyone's seeking those high percentage looks in the restricted area. Nicely done there. A minute 15 left in the opening quarter. Levert goes against Melton. And Mobley with the basket. All the assists from Levert. Levert's got three assists tonight. And here's Melton. He's got five. There's a screen. Portmas, good. Boy, when he's this deep, it's going to be tough to stop him, especially with a smaller defender. Cleveland has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. Love finds the bird. Back to Love. Two shots, two mates. Off to a good start. They have no answer defensively inside. Outside Milton. Pass to Harris. Tucker with a screen on Mobley. For three, here's Harris. Stevens with a rebound. Still looking for his first mate, and they could really use the help right now. Here's LeVert. He's averaging more than 12 a game. Consistent threat on offense. And the shot goes in. He has six. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. Melton outside. Pass to Milton. Let's go with a three. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on P.J. Tucker. That's foul number two for him. And here are the Cavaliers now. It's a 16-point game. Levert goes against Melton. Now here's Levert. Tightly guarded. Outside Rubio. From behind the arc. What a performance for Darius Garland. He has been the story for the Cleveland Cavaliers. He made a big impact, scoring 12 points in the quarter. And don't go far. We'll be right back. Board, but plenty of time left for a comeback. And guys, the Cavaliers pretty much in control here. Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. Well, Grant, every team is looking for that perfect five on the floor, that magical lineup. In your mind, is that synonymous with small ball? I think it is, B.A. I mean, having players that can play small, can switch on defense, obviously play multiple positions on the offensive end, it's just a combination when executed properly could be a nightmare for the opponent. Love and Allen, the pair down low. Darius Garland is out there with Donovan Mitchell, and it's Osman in at the small forward position. That's the group for Cleveland getting going in the second. Maxi against Mitchell. Here's Harden. It goes. He's made three shots in six attempts. 
And tell you, James Harden's ability to power through contact and finish with bodies around him is something else. Garland, the pass to Allen. Here's Osman, covered by Thibel. And there's the foul. It'll go on Matisse Thibel. That's his first foul of the game. Second quarter of basketball, about a minute played so far. Left side Mitchell. Here's the three. He's off on that one. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. They come into this one following the loss to Atlanta. They had a tough time beyond the arc. A lot of their possessions ended in missed threes. What was most disturbing to me was they didn't have a backup plan, right? The threes aren't falling. What do you do next? And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Well, Joel and B. Drawing comparisons to some legendary big men. He said, quote, I want to be mentioned as one of the greats. That's my goal. And obviously being a Hall of Famer. But you've got to take step by step, one day at a time. It's going to take a lot of work, and I'm willing to put it in. Guys? Uh, he's well on his way, Allie. Thanks. former league MVP, three-time scoring champ. Grant, the only thing he's missing is a title. Yeah, B.A., I mean, it would only help cement his legacy. For years, he carried his team only to run out of gas in the playoffs. But postseason success is for a lot when it's all said and done. Okay, Jared Allen, we see you making that look for a big man. That's a pretty pass. Harden against Garland. Now here's Harden. The right on him. Third foul of the half, and that's the risk you take leaving him out there. Well, I'll tell you what a night. He has been efficient. He's been strong. Unfortunately, they're still fighting an uphill battle. I'll tell you what, a lot can be said about the contract Harden took to stay in Philly. He took less than what he commanded to help the team sign depth and rotation players. A very big gesture from Harden showing just how much he wants to win in Philly. Free throw off the mark from Harden. You know, in the past several seasons, there's been one constant with the 76ers. They're going to be among the best defensive teams in the league. To the paint. It's depth. Mitchell against Maxi. Down low. Here's Thibault. And he slams it in one-handed. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Mitchell misses. The Sixers' identity really does center around their defense. It's so true, B.A., and they've done a great job playing to their strengths. That's the key for any contending team. Maximize your players' talents. Philly has done that as well as anybody. Here's Osman. How quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first point of the game. And it's Allen who slams it home. Well, that's a highlight play from Mr. Jared Allen. Nice pass from his teammate. Outside Maxi. Pass to Harden. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. To me, Jenny Osman is a great reminder of how international the game is today. This guy is a Turkish citizen. We know he's had a ton of success playing for their national team. Free throw, no good. And here in the NBA, Osman has had his share of success as well, Doris. He has been. He's proven to be a real asset for this team. Something of a gap filler. He can give you a lot with whatever minutes he gets. 
he'll contribute on the glass, he can score it, and he's certainly a quality passer. Rubio's checked in for the Cavaliers. And the impact of international players in the NBA is climbing dramatically. Of course, in 1990, they played less than 5% of available minutes. Now it's more than 20%. Well, the beauty is it's not just about the increase in numbers. It's the players at the top level in the NBA. Look at the MVP race last season. The top three were all international. I love it. It's a good sign for the game. We want the best players regardless of where they're from. Now here's Harden. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against Atlanta. And piling up the points at the line. He was in attack mode all night. On the wing, Harden. Covered by Rubio. Shot clock at six. The baseline, Jay. That one a little long. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. The three from Mitchell. That one falls. Coming off Rubio's feed. Mitchell's got 10. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Inside. Here's Bassey. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Don't pin that one on Jared Allen. Falls for him. Good on both. Cleveland has gone 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line in this game. Rubio passes to Allen. From deep, Mitchell. And the Cavaliers, another three! Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Timeout call for the 76ers. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with matchups? Efficiency. These are the guys that come to mind. Here are the league's best shooters so far. The fourth spot held by Jared Allen. He's been fantastic scoring the ball, shooting it at a high clip. Outside Harden. Left side, Tyler. To the wing on the left. Pass to Harden. 
Clock at six. And the ball out of play. The Cavaliers will have it. Now that we're into November, let's see how the Eastern Conference standings are shaken out. You take a look at Philadelphia. They love where they stand right now. First place. And checking out the Cavaliers. Only two spots back. Right now for Cleveland, I think we all knew they were going to be a dangerous team. But to their credit, they have lived up to those expectations. They're just not a team you want to face right now. Yeah, and there really hasn't been any feeling out process for them at the start of the season. They were in peak form immediately. Now here's Maxi. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. And he's going for the line. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. Cleveland has got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. Rubio passes to Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. Boy, that's a little bit of toughness and concentration. Jared Allen under duress of the defense. Nicely done. The 76ers have got five of seven shots to fall in the second. Pass to Thibault. Terrific move that is. Thibault's gotten four this quarter. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Rubio passes to Mitchell. Shoots. Cleveland needs to get off the shot. The ball's knocked loose. Awesome. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time for the Cavaliers. Mobley, he's checked in for love. And Karis Levert is subbed in for Osman. And the 76ers making a change here. For Philadelphia, they've gotten six of nine attempts to go in the second. Looking good. Mitchell against Maxi. Right side, Milton. Oh, and Mobley with the block. That's about reach, folks. The length, the athleticism, the timing of Evan Mobley. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with it. And he gets the bucket. Mitchell's got 15. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. Melton passes to Harris. To the paint. Here's Bassey. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Here's what the Cleveland Cavaliers have lined up on their schedule. On Friday, they'll defend home court against the Orlando Magic. And then on Sunday, they kick off a road trip to New York where they'll take on the Knicks. Some might look at this schedule and already mark off how many wins they'll get. But I think that's a mistake. You can never take a night off in the NBA. Even the ones you think will be easy are tough. First free throw is good. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Stevens is checked in. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Korkmaz is checked in for Maxi. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. Coming out of high school, Evan Mobley was a five-star recruit. He had his pick of college programs, and he finally settled on USC. Now here's Rubio. 11 points for him last game against Toronto. Well, we know that playing above the rim is a big part of Evan Mobley's game. Pass to Bassey. Shoots over Allen. Bassey can't get it to go. And it was brief, but Mobley's college career was filled with accolades, Doris. There's no doubt, B.A. How about this? In just one year with the Trojans, Mobley wins Pac-12 Player of the Year, Freshman of the Year, of course, and Defensive Player of the Year. That's quite a triple crown.
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops the first. And guys, I think the future is so bright for Jared Allen. We're talking about an athletic, mobile big man who has already proven to be an accomplished two-way player. And that's good as he hits both shots. The 76ers have gone 6 of 11 here in the second quarter. Now here's Melton. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Outside Milton. Pass to Korkmaz. Pocket four. Fires for three. And they force the shot by violation. Great D. And we have to take another look at that block. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. Cleveland has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. Here's Stevens. Nine points in his last outing. Rubio up top. It's Levert on the wing. Melton covers. Stolen by Melton. Here's Korkmaz. Bearing his second of three attempts. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. Milton against Rubio. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Pass to Bassi. Back to Milton. Here's Bassi. Melton outside. Here's Korkmaz, and he floats it in for the easy two. Credit to Sweet setup on that one. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Rubio against Milton. Now here's Rubio. Defense is right there. Good D by Harris. Yeah, and they've taken their foot off the gas a little. They were much more aggressive to start the game and really getting their opponent in early foul trouble. Count that one. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Cleveland has got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. Pass to Mobley. And there's the lob. Oh, my goodness. That was nice. A ridiculous slam. Look at the lift and the kiss. Evan Mobley might be a big man, but boy, how about the touch on that pass right there? 146 left in the first half. Here's Bassey. Allen defending. A nice shot by Milton. Milton's got seven points in the game. They just look so overwhelmed inside. But that's why they continue to get attacked. Here's Stevens, looking for his first basket still in this one. Jump up two there, and the Cavaliers lead by 18. If you're going to roll as the screen setter as Evan Mobley does there, you've got to be able to catch and finish. He does just that. Here's Bassey. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. First, 
He does a great job of drawing contact and getting himself to the line, something he didn't do in the first period. Kevin Love's checked in for Allen. goes in. Two from the line that time. And the Cavaliers with possession here. 22 was their biggest lead. Rubio passes to Levert. Here's Stevens. Outside Rubio. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And here's a view of the top shot blockers in the association. Evan Mobley, third. Always makes an impact with his shot blocking. He's a constant presence around the rim. Take a break. Take a break. Two seconds. And the first one at the line is good. One thing you know, Ricky Rubio is a hard worker and a terrific leader. This is a guy who wants to make the players around him better. And so he hits both. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Milton passes to Harris. Takes a three. Love grabs the miss. Love's got four rebounds now. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Outside Rubio. Four on the clock. Misses off the right iron. Milton with it. It's not going to go for him. And so it's Cleveland. A sizable 18-point lead at the end of the period. They put in work down low. Getting in close and scoring in bunches. We'll be right back after this word. Hey folks, thanks for joining us. It would be an understatement to say it's been a great half for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Their work on the glass is one reason they've been in control of this game, playing bully ball, right Ernie? Why would you ask me? I'm not a bully. Yes, you are. Ask no, Shaq, he's no. the bully. No, you're the bully around here. Whatever. Okay, now let's see what's going on around the league in terms of injuries. The Bucks are clearly hurting. How do you replace Giannis, a big man with guard skills, who stuffs a stat sheet like no other, Ernie? Nobody does it like him. Difficult for sure, Jet. Not an easy adjustment to make. He just means so much to this team. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. Scoreboard. The second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. What a game we're seeing from Donovan Mitchell. Well, if he's hit threes like he did in the first half, he's going to have a monster night. What I love is they've continued to feed this guy. Ride the hot hand until the defense does something about it. And on the floor for Doc Rivers as we get into the second half. Tribal and Harris at the three and the four. Tyrese Maxey is out there with James Harden. And it's Bassey in at the five spot. Here's Osman. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Now Maxey. Harden with a screen on Mitchell. Here's Maxey. Outside for Harden. 
To the inside, Harris. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Harris has got six. In so many ways, Harris can beat you. He has the size and skill to score from all three levels. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. Yeah, he has that fight in him. Love the aggression at the rim when they are trying to claw back into the game. From six feet away, love her. That's good. And the Cavaliers lead by 16. And that's just nasty right there, guys. He has a tremendous crossover. Outside title. to Harden. Buckets. He's now 6 of 10 from the field. Wow, what a start to this half. 3 for 3, dictating the pace on the offensive end. They're rolling early. LeVert passes to Love. It's LeVert on the wing. Mobley and screen on Harden. Here's LeVert. Pass to Mobley. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. James Harden picks one up. You can see the defender struggling to contain Mobley. He's got size, he's got agility, and he's got touch. down the first one. As impressive as the numbers were for Mobley as a rookie, the consistency stood out the most, Grant. Yeah, no question, B.A. Mobley shows up and makes an impact every night. He just finds ways to help the team even when the shots aren't there. He's the type of player that fits with any system. Allen, he's checked in for the Cavs. Garland comes in for Levert. And both free throws good for Mobley. Boy, no question, Evan Mobley is brimming with potential. And you love his attitude, his work ethic. This guy, the sky's the limit. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Brian Sixers head coach Doc Rivers earned the nickname Doc back in college for wearing a t-shirt with Drew Irving. In the NBA, he said, quote, the first game I started was against the Sixers. I went over and said, um, Dr. J, how are you? And he said, Doc, how are you? I said, no, no, I'm Glenn. But he said, no, you're Doc. And that made me feel like a million bucks. Guys, All right, thanks, Alex. And another miss by Cleveland. The 76ers have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Harris finds Harden. Here's Bassey. Down it goes. Jam that one home. Just a big play at this juncture of the game. Second chance points could be the key for them. Impressive effort right there. That's what they need about a comeback. All right, time now to pick it up. You're one for four, and you certainly don't want to give your opponent momentum. Back to Harris. Over Garland. And that one's long. You hate to pile on, but his poor shooting night has really hurt the team. Up top, Allen. Mobley outside. Pass to Garland. Oh, stolen by Harden. Dybal on the wing. Three-pointer. Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. Harden's got three assists tonight. This is where James Harden's ability to quickly scan the floor and then find the right window to deliver the pass. So good, so good. And it's Mitchell, the miss. One for five has got to be a frustrating start, and they just don't look sharp right now. Can they find their offensive game? Here's Osmond looking for his first basket still in this one. Going inside, and the lamp is good off the glass. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Now here's Thibel. He's got seven. Shot from 12. Second chance shot. Pass 
Casey. Good. 17 points in the game. Boy, the work ethic on the offensive glass just refuses to give up on that possession. Maxi against Mitchell. Over Maxi. And it's Mitchell. The miss. It's impressive how they've overcome his cold streak tonight. Everyone stepping in to fill the gap. Outside Tybal. Just five to shoot. The shot from 20 feet out. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Cleveland has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. And out of bounds, the 76ers will take it. Tucker's checked in for Bassey. So it's Philadelphia now. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Outside Maxi. Harden against Garland. Goes up on the baseline. Harden's shot is good. Harden's got 18. Well, James Harden will go down as one of the great scorers in NBA history. And when he gets his groove going, look out, folks. Harden against Garland. Pass to Allen. Now here's Mitchell from deep. Rebounded by James Harden. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. Maxi passes to Harden. Tucker with a screen on Garland. Tries a 10-footer. Cavaliers with a rebound. Osmond's got rebound number five here tonight. Garland finds Mitchell. with a screen on Maxi from deep Mitchell and Tucker pulls it down he hasn't found the range lately it's wild to think he had three triples there in the first half pass to Harden and then Harden with the jam oh my James Harden with a statement right there the Cavaliers leading and he lobs it up top and it's Allen who slams it home the triple and it's Harden again missing Cleveland has got six out of 15 three so far in this game pass to Allen and here's Garland outside for Mitchell Allen with a screen on Maxi the three from Mitchell and it's Philadelphia with the rebound he hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. Now here's Harden. 20 points for him. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Harden's got 22 points. Yeah, James Harden's ability to finish with either hand is so crafty understanding how to navigate around defenses when he's in the painted area. Here's Osman taking a look at his production, averaging just over eight points a game. Mobley on a screen. Osman, no good. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Maxi passes to Harden. Right side, Dival. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Cleveland. But what stood out to me was their passing. They moved the ball effortlessly and have been able to find those holes in the defense. Boy, the long ball has been another point of emphasis for this group tonight. Their shooters are finding open spaces and firing without hesitation. And here's Garland. He's got 14. 
Levert outside. To the middle. Here's Love. And a nice finish on the layup. Love's got nine points. This guy is such a good all-around player. Karis Levert sharpening his court awareness and finding his open teammates. Now here's Melton. Tight defense on him. Outside Melton. There's the screen. Down low. And out of bounds. The Cavs will take it. Rubio's checked in for the Cavaliers. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. Outside to Levert. They shoot again! And the layup is up and in. He's got 10. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. Inside, here's Tucker. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Well, that's just superb coordination and balance right there. Tucker's hard to move once he gets the ball inside. Love the screen on Melton. Levert, that's good. Levert's got six points in the quarter. We've got 155 left in the third quarter. Milton passes to Tucker. Now Melton. Back to Tucker. Pass to Milton. Here's Corkbaum. And here's Melton. He's checked by Levert. Down to five on the shot clock. Four, three. Corkbaum's no good. Well, the Cavaliers shooting the rock at 58%. Rubio passes to Levert. It goes again. His sixth basket in seven tries. Now, there's a reason Paris Levert shoots well from the field. This guy is great at picking great opportunities. Pass to Corkman. That one's good for two. Korkmaz has got eight. There's 57 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Levert outside. Here's Love. Yep, that one's good. And the Cavaliers lead by 10. Well, that's just strength by Kevin Love to take the contact, not be bothered enough to lose concentration. Tucker, pass to Milton. Melton against Levert. Pass to Korkmaz. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. The Cavaliers shooting 42% on this third quarter. There's a four-second difference between the shot and game clock. Rubio finds Levert. Tries it from 19. Can't get it to drop. And so it's Cleveland ending the quarter up ahead. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You'll love the unselfish play. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. Love and Allen to pair down low. Darius Garland is out there with Donovan Mitchell. And it's Stevens in at the small forward position. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. 
back to Garland. That's tip. Now here's Melton. Over Garland. And that one's good. Melton. Melton's got his first points in this one. You know, he had room to operate, but had a little fade on that shot just for good measure. Backseat against Mitchell. Looking to get back on track. They get it back. Got a hand on it. And Allen gets it to go. And the Cavaliers lead by 10. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Backseat passes to Harris. They set a pick. To the inside. Ooh, stolen by Allen. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Osmond's checked in. Harden, he's checked in for the Sixers. Here's Osmond. And another miss by Cleveland. Well, this has not been his finest hour, but give your teammates some credit for doing the job of stepping in. Pass to Bassey. Back to Maxi. Six on the shot clock. Now here's Harris. Let's the three fly. The Cavaliers pull it in. Osmond's got six rebounds now in the game. And here's Garland. And finished off by Garland. That is Garland. When he gets going, it is a problem. Outside Maxi. Pass to Harden. The three on target from range. Harden's got 25 points. Well, the problem is they haven't gotten production from any other spot. But right now, this guy is cooking. Garland with a screen on Maxi. Mitchell, the pass to Allen. The bounce. It'll be Philadelphia's ball. And the 76ers making a change here. Milton has checked in. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Outside Maxi. Outside Harden. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Just another day at the office for Mr. Harden, once again making his way to the foul line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Harden. And the old phrase, he lives at the line. That is James Harden, folks. Harden hits them both. Here's Mitchell. Out to the wing. Garland against Harden. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. James Harden picks one up. Well, give Darius Garland credit for looking to score. He forces the defense into action. No good on that one. And Darius Garland has proven he's a franchise player, Grant. And the upside is still there for him. Oh, wow. He could be one of the best guards in the league when he hits his prime. He gives you everything you want from a point guard. This team was patient with him, and it paid off.
And he sinks the second. You know what you love about Darius Garland's potential? It's as a scorer in this league, right? This is so aggressive. He plays assertively. And that, to me, is the key for young players. Now here's Maxie. Harden with it. And that one's good. Harden's got 29 points. It's winning time, and that's a winning play. Harden against Garland. Love, a screen on Harden. Outside Love. Launches a three. Yes, and a nice assist from Garland. Garland's got his fourth assist in this one. Well, this is one of Kevin Love's go-to shots now. Early in his career, a low post game. Now he's lethal from distance. Now here's Maxi. And there's a pick over Garland. And it's Maxi missing. Part of why they have this lead, they're doing the little things out there. Osman into the lane. And a strong finish with two hands. Harris, a guy who is not shy about sharing the basketball. If you are open, Darius Garland will find you. Pass to Bassi. Here's Maxi. Says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. And a solid pick to free him up for the dunk. Boy, the timing there couldn't be any better. The, the execution was simply flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. Now here's Garland. Mitchell with the ball. Maxi covering. Tries to break his ice. And there's Mitchell on the assist by Garland. Garland's got six assists here tonight. Well, Donovan Mitchell off the bounce, able to put pressure on that dribble drive. That is a nice looking move. Here's Maxi. Can he keep it going? Harden can't hit. Here's Osman, covered by Milton. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And he drops it first. So he gets them both. Philadelphia has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Outside Harden. Harris against Love. To the paint. Here's Bassey. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. 19 points in the game. We're beginning to see this more and more from Harris. Just taking what the defense allows. At that time, finding the wide open man. Now here's Garland. Pass to Allen. Back to Garland. Clock is at three. Lock for three. Here's Allen. Oh, he can't miss. Eight for eight after that shot. You know what? That's all about hustle and a nose for the basketball. Tremendous job on the offensive glass by Jared Allen. Pass to Bassey. Mitchell against Maxi. And he bangs it home with one hand. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Right. You can see on that possession, one side playing with a little desperation, the other side losing focus. For Philadelphia, they've gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. Here's Harris. Yeah, that one's good. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off a set. Now Mitchell. Pass to Allen. Now 
Garland, defended by Harden. Garland, no good. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Outside Maxi. Back to Harden. Again, Philadelphia. I mean, some good stuff out here. Five of their last six buckets have come off of nice passes. Now a timeout called by Cleveland. And the improvement of Tyrese Maxey's three-point shot from his first season to second year, just unprecedented. He improved by over 12% with a huge increase in attempts as well. He's checked in for love. The 76ers also with a sub. Bibles checked in. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Hey team, I was able to catch the message that J.D. Bickerstaff was giving to his team. He spoke to his club like they were down in the score. He told them, quote, we haven't won anything yet. Don't go easy. We've had all the leads like this, and we've seen them evaporate quickly. Coach bringing the urgency. Back to you. Thank you for that, Allie. Here's Mitchell. Pass to Allen. Garland up top. Defended by Harden. Rebounded by James Harden. Harden's got six rebounds now in the game. Maxi with it. Outside Harden. Right side Tybal. to shoot stolen by Mitchell and pushing it up here's Cleveland and Mitchell with the slam when we talk about Donovan Mitchell as an exceptional two-way talent no better example than right there outside Donovan pass to Maxi. just five on the clock to the middle, here's Bassey, drives to the hoop, and how about that, 8 for 9 now. Their offense is really humming right now, and it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. Garland against Harden, from deep, Mitchell. Here's Allen, and it's Allen who slams it home. Once Jared Allen gets rolling, this guy will keep the pressure on. He wants to be great. And that one misses. The Sixers trailing. He passes to Harris. Down 
down low. Here's Harden. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Harden's got 33 points. And you know Coach loves seeing his offense operate at this level. Great passing out there. Garland against Harden. Mobley on a screen. Garland pass to Mobley. Out of bounds. It'll be Sixers ball. Philadelphia has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Now here's Harden. Right side, Thibel for three. The rebound by Garland. For Cleveland, they've got eight of 16 attempted shots to go here in the fourth. Mitchell, the pass to Allen. Here's Osman. Fires the three. Fires in the triple. osman has got seven points for the quarter. Now you have to extend that defense. I mean, you really have to stay connected to him at all times. Well, you know this. This is a guy who's looking for his shot the whole time. You have to know who you're guarding. KYP, know your personnel. Mobley with the block. Maxi against Garland. Pass to Allen. Osman on the wing. Mobley outside. Garland against Maxi. Mitchell double team. Back to Garland. Launches it. And it's Harden who pulls down the rebound. Harden's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Now Maxi. Pass to Maxi. There's the three. Yes. And a nice assist from Harden. 24 points for him. Great work collapsing the defense, then kicking it out. They can take their time if they want. Yes. You have to regroup. Make sure you get a good shot. Up top, Allen. Here's Garland. And there are the Cavaliers with another bucket. Well, you can see how effective Darius Garland could be shooting it. It's all about him finding his rhythm. Harden drives in to the paint. Stolen by Mobley. Here's Garland. Pass to Osmond. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Allen. Substitution on the play. Twenty-seven seconds left in the fourth. Pass to Milton. Let's it go from deep. Mobley grabs the board. Levert with the ball. And so the Cavaliers take the win. A clean win. And one where they clearly showed better energy. Yes, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence too. And that'll do it, folks. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and all of our crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA as we present our New Balance player of the game, Jared Allen.